Hi guys, um, today we're going to be doing a module called Cloudy with a Chance of Hairspray. Um, and in this model um, module, we're going to be doing a demonstration on showing you guys how clouds are formed. But first, let's learn about evaporation and condensation. So what is evaporation? Evaporation happens when a liquid becomes a gas and this is caused by a, uh, a rise in temperature. For example, when the sun heats up water in lakes and also the ocean, the water vapor turns into vapor or steam, and this goes back into the air. On the other hand, condensation is when water vapor turns into a liquid, and this is caused by a drop in temperature. Some examples of condensation include the fog that kind of shows up on your window on a cold day, and also water droplets that kind of form on the outside of your cup. Um, in both cases, when moisture in the air gets too close to the colder air surrounding a cup or a window, the water vapor turns into a liquid. Condensation is a very important aspect um, to our weather system because it is what causes um, clouds to form. As evaporated water um, rises from the earth and into the cold atmosphere, the water vapor turns back into tiny liquid water droplets. These water droplets um, gather around dust particles in the atmosphere um, thus forming clouds. Um, as the clouds continue to gather these water droplets and also accumulate little ice shards through condensation and also freezing, um, eventually the weight of the cloud becomes a little too much and then the air cannot hold any more water. And this is what causes precipitation, rain. So we're going to head into the demo. I'm going to show you guys how to form clouds at home. The first thing that we're going to do is to add the steaming water to our jar. Next, we're going to add um, blue food dye um, to the jar and think of it as water from the ocean being heated by the sun. And then add, finally, um, hairspray and this will represent the dust particles that we see in the atmosphere. Next, we're going to shut the jar tight and then place some ice cubes on top. This does two things. First, when we close the lid, we are trapping um, water vapor from the steam. The limited air will have trouble holding all this water vapor and then the air will become very humid, just like you see in the jar with all the um, droplets inside. It's very humid. If you think of like a tropical island. Second, the cold ice cube will cause condensation, much like the water droplets on a cold drink. So watch the jar carefully. And it's, um, if you look really closely, you can see that there's something moving inside. Um, and this is forming a cloud. And then finally, we're gonna remove the ice cubes from the top, and then we're gonna open the lid, and then you'll release everything back into the air and the water vapor is now free and it's able to disperse into the wide open air. <laughs> 